Well, it is the first time a group has ever tried to oust a Seattle City Council member. Well, today is the big election day that will seal the fate for Shama Sawant. Fox 13's Hannah Kim has the details on the turnout and what's at stake. A lot of people following this one closely, Hannah, no matter where you live. Yes, they are, David and Jamie. We have seen so many people coming by this drop box here in Capitol Hill. What's at stake is whether or not Shama Sawan will be able to keep her seat or not. We may not know that final answer until later this week. But one thing is holding true. It is the bigger than expected turnout. Right now in District 3, more people are voting in this special election than they did in the November election. In Capitol Hill today, signs supporting Shama Sawant on street corners. I'm hoping that most people are coming out to vote. For more than a year and a half, the people behind the recall effort went to court, gathered signatures, raised money to get to this point, a rare recall election. This is a pretty... Um, contentious issue in Di District 3. As of 9 a.m. Tuesday, more than 38 percent of ballots were returned by Seattle's District 3 voters. Considering November's election saw 30 percent return around the same time for District 3, it's clear people are passionate one way or another. In the November election, we had several key races, including the mayor's race. All of those together were less galvanizing than Sawant alone. That, that's really striking in terms of like just getting people motivated to vote and to vote early. UW political scientist Professor Mark Allen Smith says historically recalls are not just hard to get on a ballot, but usually harder to win. If she prevails, it, it, it almost empowers her because she, she has very clear convictions about what's right and wrong to, to do in politics and she's willing to approach some lines, arguably go over some lines. The people behind the recall are basing the move on three charges against Sawant. They say Sawant led a protest to Mayor Durkin's home, an address that was supposed to be protected. There is also the time she unlocked City Hall to hundreds of protesters in 2020, violating COVID restrictions. Lastly, Sawant paid fines for misusing city funds for her tax Amazon initiative. But the question tonight, are those charges enough to recall an elected official? I don't think it's like warranted to do a recall. I'm glad people are coming out to like, you know, say vote no, hopefully. Others did not want to reveal how they voted because of how polarizing the battle has been so far. My next door blog is full of vitriol and I don't want to have anything to do with either, either side with that. It's just a lose-lose situation. It's going to be a close race, we know, um, and, and we're excited to see what the votes are. Around 77,000 registered voters here in District 3 will have until 8 p.m. tonight to drop off their votes in a ballot box like this one behind me, or you can mail it as long as it's postmarked by today. The first batch of results will be released around 8.15 tonight. In Capitol Hill, Hannah Kim, Fox 13 News.